Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Good morning. I'm super excited to have you guys here today. It's morning when I'm filming this, at least. I got my coffee. So it's basically just going to be a haul video. Um, This was the order I purchased on like the 3rd. 3rd of January, around there, when I wanted to get the Whiff box. Obviously, I always get the Whiff box. Um, and then it was kind of a panicked order, like things that I wanted to either try that were leaving us in the fall winter catalog when it goes bye bye at the end of the month, or they were things that I really liked, but I didn't want to put in my Scentsy Club. Since then, <laughs> in the past like five days, things have changed a little bit. Um, so some of these things have like gone in and out of my Scentsy Club. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I've also placed another order, so that'll be coming here in a little while too. Um, so I don't know what's going on really, but I'm going to show you guys what I got nonetheless. So let's just jump right into it. So I've already just unpackaged, like opened the box and threw all the paper to the side so it wasn't super noisy or anything. Um, but I did pick up a counter clean in a dish soap in Go Go Mango. Go Go Mango is going away in the cleaning supplies. I'm not sure why. That's kind of weird to me because it's coming back in the wax. So not sure what their reasoning is there, but I didn't get the clean bundle because I don't love the bathroom cleaner. Um, I just like to use the counter clean anywhere and I think that that's totally fine. Um, some people really do like the bathroom cleaner. It's a little bit of a different formula, but I think the counter clean is fantastic. And then in the bathroom, just use kind of other bathroom products that are not Scentsy that do the job really well too. Then I picked up a laundry liquid in Shimmer. This is the first laundry liquid I'm trying. I have used samples of laundry liquid before, but this is the first like full bottle bottle I'm going to be trying. And I had to try it out in Shimmer because, um, gosh, what was that? Two months ago, maybe more, maybe less. I don't remember. Um, there were Shimmer washer whiffs in the scent samples that came in the whiff box and I loved it so I really wanted to pick it up and then of course it's retiring so I picked up two of the mini tubs of washer whiffs because the full size was like the big tub was out of stock so I picked up two of these again I didn't feel like I needed three um and I had just got some Amazon rain washer whiffs in like the previous order um now the full size tub is in stock so not sure, maybe I'll pop that in a next order or so um, before the end of the catalog so that I can pick a little bit more of that up because I do really like it. Um, it It's kind of similar in my opinion to like black raspberry vanilla, but it's like more fresh sweet instead of like dark sweet. Black raspberry vanilla is kind of dark. This is like very fresh and fruity sweet a little bit perfumey musky oh it's really good so that's shimmer so i'm excited to try that out and i'm excited to finally try like a full bottle of the laundry liquid and then the last non-wax item i have in this box is the Hamp happy camper mini warmer so this one is discontinuing at the end of the catalog and i had had my eye on it for a while um, and so I really wanted to pick it up because it was going away. And so why not? Um, let me take all this, this stuff out and get it packaged up for you guys. Um, it's not going to be a super strong glow because it is a ceramic warmer and there's only a few like holes in the back here. You can kind of see, oh, it's like really hard to get off. You can see the couple little holes in the back. And then that's what the front of it looks like. It says happy camper. So that's a really cute. Um, actually, since I'm not going to plug it in, I'm not even going to set it up right now. I'm just going to wait um, until I'm not on video and under stress. I feel like every time I try to do a warm, like set up a warmer on, on camera, it doesn't end well for me. Like that's all I'm going to say <laughs> about that. So it's like this nice teal color. And then there is just like a nice subtle glow. But like I said, I had had my eye on this for a while, so I wanted to pick it up because it is going away um, and I didn't want to like miss out and have and be, you know, bummed out that I had missed out on something that I had had my eye on for a while. So I'm excited to set that up and put that up later and then let's go on to the bars that I picked up. So I have a few like multiples and then 
yeah, so let's go through the multiples that I have first. So I have two Dancing Sugar Plums and if you guys watch my Scentsy Club edit video, I think that this is still in my Scentsy Club, but I think I might take it out. I think that was my reasoning but behind getting some more. Oh, it's such a nice plum scent though. And it, and for me, um, first of all, these bars are very cold because <laughs> I just got them. They're like still cold for being on the truck. Um, this scent is like very strong for a very short amount of time. So it's not like the best performer, but I like to change out my wax quite frequently. So it's not, it doesn't bother me if something doesn't last like a super long time. Um, but that's Dancing Sugar Plums. I got two of those. Then I picked up two Cider Mill. Um, so this is a really nice scent. It's apple pumpkin um, cider. Basically apple cider with some pumpkin. But I, it's not my favorite. And I know that's probably like an unpopular opinion. Everyone loves Cider Mill. I loved it in the counter clean and dish soap though. It's fabulous. Um, in wax, it's good, but it's not my favorite. Like I didn't repurchase it all season. I only had the one bar that I started out the season with. Um, I prefer something like Jack's Obsession or I don't know. It's just, it, it, it doesn't wow me when I warm it. So why should I keep it in my club? So that's why I picked up two of it, two of them, because I do like it enough that I'll want to warm it next season, but I won't be devastated if it doesn't come back next year. Um, cause there are a lot of other pumpkin apple scents in the catalog that I can pick out. So, <sighs> or there will be, I know there will be next year. Um, I got two Amazon rain. No, this is not discontinuing. I love Amazon rain. Like I can't get enough of it right now. I'm like kind of obsessed with it. I have this in the wash roast right now and like every time like this past weekend I was doing a bunch of laundry and every time I would you know like put the wash roast in the t in the washing machine I was like I need to just sit here and sniff this and I was out of bars so I picked up two because they are 10% off in January so why not to pick up a few more um and then the rest of everything in here is all single bars of wax so these were ones that either I wanted to get another one of, but I don't want to put it in my club, um, or they're ones that I wanted to try and see if I will need to put them in my club or order more. So I think these are the only ones that I have picked up previously this year. Be Merry is one of them. Um, this is a really nice tree scent. If you guys watch my Scentsy Club edit video, you know that I'm not a huge fan of tree scents, so I don't think I need them in my club but this is a really nice one and so I wanted to pick up another bar of it I never got around to warming it this season and now it feels like weird to warm this because this is so Christmassy to me um so I'm not gonna warm it but I do want to have like two on hand for next season in case um it doesn't come back but it probably will I think a lot of people like that one. I picked up one more breakfast in bed. Also, I just realized how pretty the packaging on this is. Do you see? It's like little waffles and pumpkins. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this is a nice scent. Um, I will say it's one of those ones from this catalog that was really like hyped up. Like a lot of people were just raving and ranting about it. And it's nice. However, I get like a maple note or maybe it's just too sweet for me. I'm not sure exactly what it is or why I don't love it as much as I thought I was going to. Um, but it's just not 100% for me. But I did want to pick up one more bar because I think I only have one in my stash. And who knows, maybe one day I'll crave it and I'll really want to pick it up. Based on how often this was out of stock this season, though, I think this was a really popular scent, and so I think it will come back next year, but you can never be 100% sure. Um, but for me, it's one of those ones that I don't need it in my Scentsy Club because I don't really love it. A Scentsy Club should be for ones that you love and you can't live without, and the ones that you would be devastated if they didn't come back. That's kind of just my pointers there. 
Um, I did make a whole video talking about my Scentsy Club edit, so you guys can watch that if you want to know more about what I have in my club and what I took out and stuff. Um, cozy Cardigan is nice too, but again, in my Scentsy Club edit video, I talked about how this is a very nice scent, but it is kind of floral, like musky. And chances are, if I'm gonna wanna warm a floral in my bedroom, I'm gonna warm a Luna like nine times out of 10. I think that's exactly what I said in my Scentsy Club edit video. So I don't need this. Um, I think I placed kind of like a random order last night. I think after I did my Scentsy Club edit, uh, or after I filmed my Scentsy Club edit video, and this was one that I think I axed out of my club, but then I picked up a few more bars of it in that order that I placed. You'll see when that order gets here exactly what I picked up, but it was kind of like I, yesterday when I was doing my Scentsy Club edit, I took out a lot of items, like a lot of different scents. And so I wanted to pick up pretty much all those scents I love. Obviously that's why I put them in my club to begin with. Um, but I didn't want to have them in my club because it's just kind of overwhelming to have a super big club when you love to buy all the new wax all the time, like I do. Um, so I took a lot out of my club, but I wanted to at least have a few bars of them. So I placed a pretty big order last night to kind of just get stocked up on some of the bars that I took out of my club. That's Cozy Cardigan. I'll stop blabbing about that. And then let me take out these three and just toss the box to the side. I picked up a Just For You because I, when I found out what was going away or like when I found out what was discontinuing, I grabbed my tester bag and I started sniffing and seeing if there was anything in there that I really wanted to try before the end of the catalog. And Just For You was one of them. And I'm kind of in love with this scent. Like I smelled the tester all like a ton when I was like, do I want to try this scent out? And this was one of the ones that I had wanted just fell out of the out of the thing it's super cold so it's like almost like smaller than the package so it comes out super easily um but this was one of the ones that like all season I was like oh I'll order it I'll put it in with an order and I never got around to doing it and I was kind of bummed about it but I really really like this um so on that suspicion, this got added to that big order I placed last night. I don't know how many bars. We'll see when it gets here. Um, but that's just for you. It's blackberry and tree. And again, you guys are probably like, I thought you didn't like tree scents. I don't. <laughs> but the blackberry in this is so fresh and fruity. I don't know. It's really good. So that's just for you. I'm excited to warm that because I think I'm going to really like it. And then I picked up a sleigh all day. So there was three scents that came out in this catalog. I think one or two of them, one or two of them were new releases, but one or two of them were maybe from last catalog. Um, it was Best in Snow, I'm Snow Over It, and Sleigh All Day. So all kind of like play on words, frosty, wintry scents. And I tried Best in Snow and I did really like that one. Um, I think that was one that I took out of my club, but I may or may not have included it in that order that I placed yesterday. Um, but I hadn't tried Slay All Day and I'm Snow over it. So, and Slay All Day I'm not crazy about. Just, <laughs> that's the truth. It's very fresh. I feel like there's sage in here woodsy um kind of notes i've also heard that this is kind of light so i'm excited to try it i'll probably put it in my bathroom um but probably won't need any more of it and it probably won't go in my club i highly doubt it actually and then i'm snow over it is more tree than i thought it was gonna be it's definitely like piney with a little bit of like a fresh air, but no mint. And then Best in Snow, for if you guys are wondering, is very minty and a light, like a tiny bit of like fresh air, fresh winter air with like tree notes. This is more tree with fresh air. Maybe a little bit of like a berry. Hmm. That's pretty nice, but again, 
I just wanted to pick up one to try, but I probably won't need more or put it in my club. Okay, so let's jump on over to the whiff box. I have seen spoilers for what's in here, which I'm so bummed about because I try my best not to find out what is in the whiff box, but sometimes people get their whiff boxes so early that I don't even realize that people are gonna be posting like this early about what's in the whiff box. And so I did see a few spoilers, but it's okay because I'm still really excited for what's in here. So they're back to the beautiful packaging, the scent with love and the little piece of paper with like an activity in it. They didn't do that last month. I believe that was last month. Everything was just kind of thrown in there. There was no like cool fun activity. So um, this one, what is it? It's a calendar. It's like a fun cutout calendar. I never do these, but they're cool. <laughs> they're a fun idea. And then it says for the description of the whiff box is there's no better time for a refresh than the start of a new year. In your January, whiff box is full of fresh fragrances and products that help you help you relax and feel rejuvenated in 2021. So let's see. I'm so excited to see that there is a scent tester for the scent of the month for February. It is called Red Pear and Pomegranate. I'll sniff that at the very end. Um, no surprise here, there is a Jade and Jasmine scent, Scentsy Bar. Um, this is pretty typical. Almost every single month there is a scent of the month bar. And I like this scent, I do. It's, it's cloney, it's a little bit fruity. It has a little bit of like a lemon note at the end but mainly masculine cologne. Um, but I do like it and I have warmed it a few times. So I'm excited to have a bar of that. I'll, I'm sure I'll warm it. There is a Now in Zen hand cream. So this is one of the things that I saw and I was like, I'm kind of excited to try that. I've never smelled Now in Zen. Um, it's sunny grapefruit and chamomile. So let's, let's just, let's test it out. Cause I want to know what it smells like. Cause I know that it is coming back in the spring summer catalog. The hand creams that Scentsy has are really nice. I do like them. Um, they're not super strong scented in my opinion. Um, they kind of just smell like hand cream, but they are really moisturizing. Oh, that's nice. So it is a little earthy and a little fruity, almost like a, like a, like a cologne or body wash kind of smell. I like that, that's nice. So that's now and Zen hand cream that's in the whiff box this month. There is also a Scentsy Fresh in Clothesline, which I'm really excited about because I have been kind of obsessed with the Scentsy Freshes lately. Um, I love to make my bed in the morning and spray them. And then so when I go back in my room at night to go to bed, it smells very fresh. And I haven't tried Clothesline yet, but that one obviously smells like clean laundry. Um, so this will be super good to have on hand. And then a big old bag of aloe water and cucumber Scentsy Soak. So aloe water and cucumber is aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar. And this is a super fresh, like watery cucumber smell. Um, it's really, really nice though. And I'm excited to have a Scentsy Soak in it. Um, I'm sure I'll get good use out of those. I love the Scentsy Soaks. Um, they're pretty much all I use. If I take like a bath, that's what I use is a Scentsy Soak, nothing else. So I really have been enjoying those. And now for the most exciting part, my favorite part of the Whiff Box, which we were missing last month, um, is the scent tester for the next month's scent of the month, which is for February this month. And it is called Red Pear and Pomegranate. So let's just do a first sniffs together. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Let me, I'm trying to pop it out. So it's, it's quite light, can't smell it very much. I definitely smell like a fresh pear. Almost smells apple-y. And I'm not getting a ton of pomegranate, um, which is okay. I'm usually not a huge fan of pomegranate. It's really light. It's really hard to smell exactly what's going on here. Um, 
pear. I'm getting pear again. Oh, that's really fresh and fruity. I do really like that. I'm excited to get um, my scent of the month, like, kit in this scent. Um, most of the scent of the months I've liked, but this one smells really good. So I'm super excited to get a full bar, a full brick of that and to actually smell it. I'm super excited for that. Um, so that is everything that I picked up in this order. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.